10th Street Plaza is all adorned for Christmas, a place where you can see Santa, listen to Rockin' Holiday's Christmas music, and until this past Monday, see this 50-foot Christmas tree with a customized light show. And then as soon as I see the lock was cut, I knew that there, there was a... Uh... It was going to be bad news. I didn't want but to when designer Brian Friend came out. to check out the tree earlier this week, he found that the brains of this intricate show were gone. I opened the door just to find devastation that all of our equipment was gone. All of our control equipment, the sound equipment, everything that created, that made the tree go. Some $12,000 worth of electronics stolen. Cut cables and sliced locks were all that remained. They had to cut right through the cable. They had to cut through the locks. Four locks they had to cut through. Um, and the cable. And they had to hoist it over this wall right here because it wouldn't fit through the, the doorway. The question on everyone's mind, who would do such a thing? It's hard to think that somebody would even have it in them. To, to be able to pull this off and, and could actually bring themselves to do this. Surveillance cameras all around the plaza did get this image of a suspect. It's being circulated around the downtown area. This is something that the whole community can solve. Rex Osborne owns a business right on the plaza. Somebody knows who took this. Somebody has, sees it right now sitting in their living room. Somebody has an idea where it's at. Why not be the hero at Christmas and return it? And returned or not, Brian Friend has a plan to get the display back up and running as early as tomorrow. All we have to do is, oh, all we can do is rebuild and, make, and try to make it bigger and better and, and uh, more, more spectacular than it was before. And Friend says he will remove the electronics every night to make sure this doesn't happen again. In Modesto, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.